Hey guys, it's Emma here today, and today we are doing a Minecraft skin speed paint. Um, <laughs> and this skin is titled Only in Dreams, based off the song by Weezer. Um, and it is for, it was for the Skindex Olympics. They had a palette contest as one of their things, so this is my entry. So as usual, I started out with grayscale um, when I do my when I do palette contests. Um, I have done a video on that before. It was the shading tutorial. I'll link it up there. However, I'm hoping to maybe do an updated one soon. So this was the original idea for the outfit. Um, as you can see, I was having a lot of trouble with the shoes and just like, I was very indecisive with the colors and everything. Uh, I was not liking how it was turning out. I just kept changing everything. And I tried multiple times. This skin in total took me about four hours which is way longer than I now spend on skins. So I had a lot of trouble with what to do for the design. I just did not feel like it was original enough. And um, I wanted to get kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit. So as you can see, I'm trying with the design one more color palette. Um, and basically, if you feel like something doesn't work and you keep trying again and again, like I tried different um, placements for the colors, I recommend trying with a new design and if that doesn't work out then you can go back to your original and now you have a new a new view on how it looks and everything um, so I think that definitely helps me um, is just kind of resetting I tried different eye styles too to see if I like that um, but in the end I decided to just go for the normal eyes um, the standard that I always do and like I said, I'm starting over with the design, which um, I started, I did a checkered pattern, and I've never done that. It was quite out of my comfort zone. Um, definitely took a very long time. You'll see in a little bit. It took a long time to shade. But I'm really happy with the end result, so I'm fine if it takes longer, if it takes four hours, but I'm happy with the skin, then I'd rather that. Um, so I went for like a... Um, kind of tan and a little bit of a darker skin tone which um you know I always like diversity with my skins but also I just think it looks good with the colors because if you have light colors I recommend maybe trying a darker skin tone um not sometimes it looks better with a lighter one but I think the contrast really makes it look good and with darker colors um a lighter skin tone really works well um but any skin tone works with anything it's just um I always base skin tone off the design because I just think it makes it, you know, um, pop more. So, yeah, I was having a lot of trouble with the braids too because I wanted to do braided bubble braids, which um, I was having a lot of trouble with it. So, in the end, I just decided to go for standard bubble braids. Um, I still think it would have looked good with the braided bra braided bubble braids, but um, I just was not really happy with how it was how it was turning out so I just decided why not just go for um, the normal bubble braids I still think it looks good and I'm very happy with it so I just shaded the skirt um, I wanted the hair to pop so that's why it has more of a greeny tint and then um, you'll see I adjust the hue shifting because I want I'm working on hue shifting definitely not a pro at it but I think especially in the hair it looks good um, one thing that was hard with this is um, with the skin with the palette was the fact that two of the colors were almost identical and those two were the ones that I used for the checkered thing so I really tried I had to shade it to make it, them look very different um, and also the third color the skirt I tried to make that darker um, and contrast well you know if you watch my videos contrast is a big thing for me um, so yeah, then I just filled in the edges and now shading the shoes. Um, I was also having trouble with the shoes, but I just went for a simple kind of boot thing. And I think it turned out cute. Um, I didn't want it to be too busy on the bottom because the top uh, was already so busy. And then as you can see, I add the little bangs. Um, I just thought it was interesting to um, include that. And now I'm shading the skin and I really like the way I shaded the skin. Um, it just kind of has, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I just like the colors I used, is what I'm trying to say. 
I decided to change the cardigan in the back. I shortened it in the back, which you might think is strange because usually, like, um, the front, or I'm not really sure, but basically I shortened it because I wanted the skin shading to not look strange. I wanted to all fit together, and now I'm just adding overlay and finishing touches. Um, after this video, I'm currently filming a video for another palette contest, which is more of a walkthrough rather than a speed paint. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And if you have any questions in the comments, make sure to comment below. I now have commissions open, so um, that will be in, in the description. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Here's a montage of the skin. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.